Rest now. This level is the gift of your courage. Harvest the fruit of your labor. But don't let it spoil you. It is not over. Level 10, Field of Wheat. Survival Difficulty, Class 1. Safe, Secure, Minimal Entity Count. Level 10 is the 11th level of the backrooms. This level seems to be an infinite wheat field. Description. Level 10 is a wheat field that seems to be infinite in size. A large unpaved dirt path heading north and south is also present. The wheat in the fields is safe for use and consumption. Pockets of almond water can be found all around the wheat fields, which has a sweet taste. The time of day in level 10 is always around noon. The sky is very cloudy, and rain may occur rarely. When walking down the path you will not only find wheat fields, but strange objects and buildings in the distance. The first buildings you can encounter are barns and stables. These buildings are usually empty, but are fully explorable. The contents of the barns vary, but hey, animal fur and animal noises are present throughout the barns and stables. The objects you can find include tractors, farming utilities, etc. Small houses can be found around level 10. These houses seem to be built around the early 1980s, and are quite empty as resources are scarce. Do not enter the houses, as an event will occur where sobbing can be heard emanating from the house and those present inside will disappear. These houses however do possess a chance to bring you to some levels like level 9 and level 7, although this is unconfirmed. In one fairly large area of level 10, a town can be found. This town seems to have been built in the 1980s around the same time period as the houses. The buildings are full of various items, unlike the more modern houses nearby. This town includes shops, apartments, houses, etc. This town is home to a colony living inside of it that decided to make the town their home, see colonies and outposts. It is completely safe to explore and live in. Entities do have a chance to spawn in some buildings, but this is very rare. These entities range from smilers, skin stealers, death rats, hounds and hostile facelings. There have been reports of wranglers beneath the surface of level 10. There are also reports of camo crawlers. There are in fact two special entities that may appear in level 10, they are as follows. The first special entity can be found in towers around the level, they are made of stone, and seem to have been built around the medieval era. These towers are safe to traverse around, and to explore when not occupied. These castle towers are lit up with torches, and a black charcoal-like substance paints the roof of the towers on the inside. The towers include some furniture, usually associated with the early 1600s. During an event that may occur, loud trumpet sounds will play throughout level 10 for a few minutes. After this occurs, entities known as the archers will appear in groups and scout the level. These entities claim these towers are their territory. The archers don't seem to interrupt the town and usually ignore it. It is advised to keep away from the archers as you may get shot with an arrow. Once you hear the trumpets for a second time, that indicates the archers are gone. The second special entity is known as the Glyph. These entities are large obese creatures that walk among the fields. Gluffs are there to grow the crops as their body emits drops of sweet almond water, which explains the strange puddles found in the fields. These entities are very friendly and like to play around in the fields. Their movements are very slow and graceful, and their bodies fall slowly as if they are a balloon. Gluffs tend to eat wheat in the fields that they grow. These entities are useful for growing and harvesting crops. Bases, outposts and communities. Since the discovery of level 10 many groups have been formed in this level. The most prominent of these settlements are listed below. The BNTG level 10 resource station. This outpost was formed by the BNTG to harvest wheat for bakery usage. This outpost holds around 23 people all working together. 
They also gather other useful resources such as the previously mentioned almond water. They transfer the items from level 10 to level 1 via an exit to said level. New Sodbury Around 10,000 created ones reside in a large town set up and run for the last few hundred years. Their preferred demonym is Sodis. Wanderers make up the rest of their society, numbering around 1,500, and as infrastructure within the town, like plumbing is slowly becoming more reliable, it will only increase. It is by far the most prone community in level 10 to outbreaks of disease due to still poor sanitation, so avoid the town if you're not already immune to the disease and don't want to run the risk. Cartographer Station Tertium Calculated population of this station is upwards of 3,000. Serves as one of the cartographer's main sources of food, with most resources here dedicated to farming and baking. Open to trading food for weapons or medicine. Entry is barred at this outpost to any members of the BNTG. Malt Town. This community is made up of several wanderers who seek shelter in level 10. They are very friendly and open to trade. They are guarded by the BNTG group nearby. Housekeepers. This group is mysterious and resides within the houses of level 10. They have apparently discovered vital information within the houses, and are unwilling to share it. The amount of members are unknown. Entrances and exits. Entrances. To enter, walking off a path into the fields when in level 9 will lead to level 10. Climbing a chain-linked fence in level 205 will lead to level 10. Following the procedures in level 12 and entering the door has a chance to lead to level 10. Jumping out of the train in level 61 while outside and moving will lead to level 10, this is dangerous and not advised. Entering one of the holes in the maze of level 51 will lead to this level. Eating a food similar to green beans in level 226 will also lead to level 10. It is also possible to enter level 10 by running deep into the forest of level 170, as it gradually progresses into level 10. Exits. To exit, bunkers rarely present in wheat fields may lead to level 1, level 2, level 3, or level 14. Reports state some of the houses lead to level 0, level 5, level 7, or level 9, but it is unknown exactly how this transport is achieved. Toppling a scarecrow within level 10 will lead to level 807. Finding and following a ditch in level 10 for a few hours will lead to level minus 7. Finding a swamp area in level 10 will lead to level 66. While wandering through the fields aimlessly it's possible to find a blue patch of wheat with a clown scarecrow directly in the middle of this patch, plucking one of these strands of wheat will teleport to level 283. Approximately 20 miles from Malt Town is the boundary of the Corpse Lake Exclusion Zone, encompassing and serving as the entrance to level 10.1. Subscribe for more daily uploads of the backrooms.